Das ist der... Uh, signed by Godsmack, and there's Tony Zumbala holding it. So Tony, when you uh, first found out you were going to be playing at Woodstock, what did you think? Um, I didn't think much because we were so busy. We were coming off Ozfest on the last day in San Bernardino, and um, we had to fly. We had a party with everyone after Ozfest, and that night we flew to uh, New York, so we didn't sleep the whole night, so we were like zombies, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we, I did this, I did the whole gig half asleep. You did the gig half asleep, huh? Yeah. Well, I've had the privilege to play with you on stage, and I remember the stage is barely having any stepping room. Yeah, right. Was that uh, Woodstock, one of the largest stages you ever played on? It was too big. It was too big? Yeah, I didn't know did, what to do with all Did you feel like you were lost? Yeah, roller skates or something. <laughs> you roller skates? Yeah, you, you felt like you would have been better if you were on rollerblades, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that might be a new gimmick. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Maybe you can uh, go out smack and have their own line of rollerblades, huh? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that was a very large stage. Yeah. And did you guys fly into Woodstock at all? Yeah, of course. We so, were coming from California, and we had played the day before, like I said, so we had to travel all, overnight and then um, go right to the gig, you know? Yeah, and you guys played uh, pretty much in, like, a late afternoon. Yeah, right after... Um, I think it was Creed. Creed it was, played I, on the big stage and we went right after Yeah. Now when and you then Chili Peppers were after us. That's right. Well Megadeth uh, played right after you on the on the right other on the stage. Small stage then yeah. jumped over to, um, now when you were flying over the complex looking down, what'd you think? Well we didn't fly over the oh, complex. Oh you didn't fly no, over the complex? I think um, a city nearby and we drove there in a van. Oh okay. So Alright, because I I heard that they were flying people right in by helicopter, no, no? Not us. Oh okay. Well that's cool. Some bands probably the Maybe someone that was bigger. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, '99 must have been an awesome year for you guys with the Ozfest and the yeah, Woodstock. Right. I mean, those those are two huge events, and yep. uh, uh, Woodstock uh, having the nostalgia that it had in '69 and '94. That must have been like probably after thinking about it, you probably felt yeah, like, wow, cool. you know, that was history, man. The biggest musical event I've ever done, you know. Yeah. And, um, I mean, a lot of people kind of slagged it because of, you know, the fires and everything, but most of the day, most of what I saw was fine, you know? Yeah. It was just that one thing at the end, it got a little nasty, but, yeah. I mean, I, I thought it was a good vibe. I mean, everyone was into the music, and, yeah. I mean, we, we were kind of, like I said, we were zombies. We didn't get to really walk around much and see people. We went there, and some of us slept in the trailer, tried to sleep a little bit. We saw Seven Dust. That was one of the only bands we really saw and hooked up with. And uh, we did our gig and we pretty much left, you know. Oh, so you didn't meet to get to meet any of, uh, like, say, your mentors or people no, that you? No, not there. No, not there. Not on that tour. No. Yeah. No. It was, it was. We were just getting through it. You know what I mean? Just we get. Were, yeah. We were, we were zombies. We were half asleep. You know. Yeah. Really. It was, <laughs> we were pushing ourselves for that kid. You know. Yeah, but I mean, it was it was something that you guys wanted to do. Yeah. And uh, no, we wanted. To, we knew before we did the tour that it was going to end up the last day we had to do Woodstock, so we were like ready for it. It was just that we partied the night before and uh, you know what I mean, with all the Ozfest fans yeah. saying goodbye to everyone, so yeah. we were all partying, so we're not only were we getting to sleep, we were all cocked too, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Now, if you guys if you guys had a chance to do uh, Woodstock in uh, 2004, because they seem to have it every five years, are you, we willing to do that? Sure, Hopefully. I'd do it if it did happen, you know? Yeah. Well, why not, you know? I mean, we weren't the plan anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Because I was there too, and I and I I seen more positive than the negative. Yeah. And for for that amount of people, uh, two you know quarter million people, and, and there was no uh, law there at all. To right. me, it was a lawless city all weekend. Yeah. So they were bound to have some negativity. Yeah, some so. of the things like like the you know the prices and you know, the, the the bathroom facilities. There was a lot of things that could have been a little better, probably that would have saved some of the aggravation. You know? More more for the the people that yeah, were going the concert goers. Yeah, the people. You know what I mean? Because you guys pretty much already had. The, Top of the line stuff. Well, we had a trailer and we had yeah. you know, food and stuff. No porta potties. No, <laughs> no, we were all right. We didn't get to see the grunge part of it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, is there anything you want to say to anybody that went to Woodstock? Um, you were a piece of history, right? You were a piece of the whole thing, too. So, yeah. good for you. you. You were part of it, too, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> all right. Cool. Could you do me a favor and just hold up that other one? Yeah. That way, there, I can just kind of get down on. I like I like those colors. Yeah, with the black, it looks good. The sun. Sadite. Sadite. I thank you very much.